So here's my new toy, the TS-100 soldering iron. I've been using the same old soldering iron for a long time, and it's good, nothing wrong with it. But the folks at Banggood said, hey, you want a new soldering iron? And I said, yeah. <laughs> so here it is. And I've heard a lot about this soldering iron. I've had other people recommend it. So it's finally time for me to get one. Here it is. That's pretty. One thing about this TS-100 is that it is made to be pretty portable. So it actually comes with a connector that you can put on like a drone or an RC car battery so you can run it off of a battery. I probably won't ever do that, but for some people who do drones and things, that's a big reason to get this particular one. So this kit from Banggood was not cheap, and that's partly because it comes with all these different tips. Nine different tips. There you go. Wow, that's light. Feels like there's hardly anything in it. Let's see. Ooh, that'd have hurt somebody. Ooh, God, I believe these are weapons. That's mostly what I'm used to using. I think I'm going to use this one. All right. Super nice case. So to power it, it says it can take 12 to 24 volts and it will use between 17 and 65 watts. So I'm gonna use 12 volt, five amp power supply. Pretty standard size barrel connector. Plug that in, and there we go. It says to press this button to turn it on. So that's the current temperature. Oh, I pressed it and it's going up. Wow, that's pretty fast. And looking at the instructions, if you have a higher voltage power supply, it will heat up even faster. Okay, and you hold this down to set the temperature. And I think the maximum is 400, yeah. All right, here's the settings. Factory reset. Working temperature is set to 300. Sleep time, 180. So I guess that's gonna be three minutes and it'll go to sleep. Off voltage 10. Okay, so if your battery gets below 10 volts, it'll turn it off. That's great. It's got like an over discharge protection. Well, that's pretty neat. But I was reading about this guy. You can change the firmware that it runs. And I like to change firmware just because it's possible. So let's do it. <laughs> so this is the custom firmware for the TS100. Here's some of the things you can do with it. What? Custom boot up logo? Oh yeah, we gonna do that. And I read somewhere that you can also boost the temperature. Apparently with this different firmware, you can go up to 450. Well, here's the latest release, version 2.11. And I have a TS100, so I'm gonna grab this. You want the hex file for your language. There's a USB port here on the back. So you plug that USB port into your computer. So you hold down the button that is closest to the tip and then plug it in. DFU, that means it's ready to be programmed. And it should show up as a USB drive. There it is. Now we grab that TS100 hex file and I'm gonna go with the EN, drop that in there. Whoa. Oh, it went away. And now it comes back, and now there's a ready file in there. Okay, great. So now it should be ready. Plug it back into the power supply. Oh, now the menu's different. Oh, there it goes. I hit one button and it's heating up. Oh, there's my max temperatures. Okay, great. I like that. Let's see if it'll go beyond 400. Yep, sure enough. Sure enough, goes to 450 now. Oh, so a short press will change it by one degree. A long press will change it by 10 degrees. Sleep modes, yes. Sleep timeout 50 seconds. Shutdown timeout, 10 minutes. Motion sensitivity, seven. Display orientation, right, left, or auto. So you just press and hold that back button. Well, that's why it's blinking now that it's cooling down. So you know it's cooling down if it's blinking. All right, I like that. So that's all fun. Some cool settings in there. Probably not a lot that I'll use, but still pretty cool. What I wanna do is the custom logo. Well, they did a great job of hiding this dang file. 
I had to just go searching through all of the old releases. So we're going to download the TS100 logo editor and we're going to start it up. We're going to load an image. There we go. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, save DFU file. We're just going to save it as drz.hex. You got to put it in DFU mode. Hold that button down, then plug it in. Now it's in DFU mode right here. So now we can put that in this drive again. As soon as it knows it's there, it turns off, turns back on. Ready. And so now the climax, the moment we've all been waiting for. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, hold on, I don't do that again. Oh yeah. That is so sweet. Okay, now let's solder a little. The next part of the soldering iron review is actually gonna be a little bit of a soldering tutorial. I have here my lovely assistant, Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Dawson's gonna learn how to solder. So I'm gonna give some tips, like my four or so soldering tips, and we're gonna teach Dawson how to solder. Yep. He's ready. Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. So tip number one for soldering is magnification. So magnification can be things like this, or it can be something like this, or it can even be just this. <laughs> or it can be something like this. I've got them all. Depends on what you like. I usually use this. What's tip number one for soldering? Magnify. Magnification. Very good. You can take those off now. <laughs> okay. Tip number two is helping hands. So something like this that will hold the parts uh, so that they're not going to move around when you try and touch them. This is my favorite one. I've had a few different ones. Uh, but whatever you've got, just something to hold it still so that it doesn't move when you try and touch it. Tip number three. We're already flying through these tips. This is like easy, right? Yeah. Tip number three is small gauge solder. So this is about the smallest you can get, and it is 0.6 millimeter. You might be able to get smaller, but this is small enough for sure. If you are working with solder that's real big, it's real thick, then it's a little harder, right, to do just tiny little things. Yeah. Okay? So what's number two? Number two is helping hands. Very good. And number three? Um, you want that. Yeah, you want this. <laughs> what about it? Metal. Metal. Thin. <laughs> thin. Thin gauge. Okay, okay, because you can buy this in different sizes. Some of them are really thick, and this one is really thin. Okay. I like the thin stuff. Okay. The next tips are technique. So now we'll zoom in on what we're soldering, okay? Okay. So we're just going to have you solder these couple of pins right here. So this is a pin header. That's what this is called. And I've already started it for you. So I did the one part so that you don't have to try and hold this in place. So we can just clamp this in here and then we'll, we'll start soldering this. Clip it in place. And you're left-handed, aren't you? Yes. So you'll probably want to hold the soldering iron in your left hand and the solder in your right hand. You can move the things you don't need out of the way. That's the other thing. Don't get anything in your way that doesn't need to be there. So watch how cool this soldering iron is. When you plug it in, watch what it does. It says, Dr. Z's, look. Is that oh cool gosh. or what? Uh, <laughs> let's, do, let's watch it again, that's like the best part. Dr. Z's. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me just so happy. I've used this soldering iron now for, well, I've soldered quite a bit with it since I got it now. Besides the awesome logo, which is my favorite feature, let's say my third favorite feature is how fast it heats up. So for this soldering iron, and this not all soldering irons are like this, this one's pretty fancy. But for this one, you just press this front button and it starts to heat up. You see the numbers going up? They're going up fast. Is it They're going at, up super fast. Is it already at 100 degrees? Celsius even. So it's super fast. So it's way faster than my other one. All right, so we're gonna get it to about 300, which is plenty hot. The first thing I love most about this soldering iron is that it says Dr. Z's on it, right? That's the best part. The second best part is that when you set it down, it cools off. So it knows that it stopped moving in between, like if you're prepping stuff and you've set it down, it will cool down. It won't cool down all the way. It'll still be hot. It'll still be hot enough to burn you probably, but it won't be 350 degrees. It'll be like 150. Okay, there it goes. Now it's got a little Z and that little Z means it's like in sleep mode. 
So now it's counting down. It's starting to cool off. And it actually cools off pretty fast too. So it was 340, now it's already at 300. And then it'll stop, I think it stops at 150. And you can set that temperature. So if you wanted it to cool all the way down when you set it down, you can do that. But I love that feature. And then it also has a sleep timer. Like if you leave it for more than 10 minutes without picking it up, it just turns off, which is so awesome. Like I went, I left it on, I was soldering up here one night this week and I left it on, on accident. I totally forgot about it. I went downstairs, I went to bed. The next day at work, I thought, oh crap, I left the soldering iron on. With my old one, I would have like called mom and said, hey, can you please go unplug that because you know it could burn something down. But with this one, I knew that it had already turned off. And sure enough, when I came home from work and looked at it, it was off. All right, so that's cool enough. It would cool a little bit more, but now we'll pick it up and show what happens when you pick it up. Booga booga. Booga booga, there it goes. So the little heat icon, that's this little symbol here. That means it's heating up. And then it fires right back up to 300 and whatever you set it at. Pretty amazing, right? I think it's pretty awesome. Okay, let's do some soldering. Ready? Yes. So a lot of people have a big opinion, or some people have a strong opinion about this, the tip on the soldering iron. I don't really have a strong opinion. This one is kind of a bevel, and it works fine. I've used the fine point ones. I've used the sharp ones. It's To me, it doesn't matter too much. All right, so here's the technique. What we're soldering here is this little circle and that little pin. Okay, those are the two things that we want to make an electrical connection between. So the first thing we want to do, and what we really use the soldering iron for, is to heat those two things up enough that they're hot enough to melt the solder. Okay. So we don't melt the solder on the soldering iron like that. We put the soldering iron on the things that we want to melt together. We hold it there for a minute. And then we put the solder, and if we do it right, we can put the solder way over here. There we go. And it will... surround it like that. So you touch it to that and then you hold it there. You don't move this soldering iron anymore. You just move the solder and you just touch the solder. You can touch it right to where it joins with the soldering iron and then you just put a little bit and you don't really need very much. And then I usually will take the solder away, wait a second, and then take the soldering iron away. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. You put the soldering iron on the things you want to solder. This, can I do these two? Yep. Okay. You just do, yep, you can do that end. Yep, perfect. Okay, hold it there for a second. Good. Now touch the solder to it. Okay, good. A little more. Okay, and then that is so perfect, dude. That was awesome. That was awesome. Now, sometimes you want to turn this so that this iron doesn't have to go over something that you already soldered, right? Okay. So it doesn't unsolder it accidentally. Magic. Perfect, dude. You did it great. Okay, now carefully set it down. That thing is so hot, it will melt through pretty much anything that it touches right now. All right, and then we take this off, we're done, and we throw you on another one. I'm a pro now. <laughs> pretty much. So, uh-oh. Okay, so, so you know what happened there? What happened there? <laughs> I let go. You, you took, um, remember what I said? When I always take the solder away and then take the soldering iron away. And that's exactly why. <laughs> so, so now you just touch the soldering iron on it okay. and it'll melt again. And then you can pull the solder away. Oh, there you wow. go. That's all. <laughs> that was funny. Good job. Way to demonstrate. I don't think that one. Okay, you know, that's not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But it's not that bad. And I will point out something else to you. You're resting your soldering iron on this on this yeah. hole right here. And you see what it did? Yeah. It kind of melted that. So you want to be careful not to touch the soldering iron to anything else. Sometimes yeah. that means instead of laying it down really flat and coming in really flat like that, you come in a little more at an angle from the top. Okay? okay. But do whatever you need to do to make it feel like you're in control. Uh, more, I think. Yeah, a little more. One thing you'll learn, uh, too, is that you don't have to push very hard with the soldering iron. And if you don't push very hard, it might not be quite so shaky either. Good. Looks perfect. How you feeling? Um, stressful. <laughs> is it stressful? It's like when you're like really deep into it and you're like... Uh, and then it makes like a smoky, and you're like, am I, am I doing it too hard? 
I need to pull this one away first. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay, well, you're doing great. I'm going to put that in my pile of victories. Your okay. victory pile is over here. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, you could light this up if it gets too dark for you. You can. <laughs> this has a light on it. Oh, wow. It's so much better. <laughs> you're doing fantastic. I really have... I'm only going to give you any correction because that's just what dads do, right? Not because you, you really are. No, you have to do that. I do. I have to. I don't want to be so bad. <laughs> and you'd be you're... like, you're doing great. So let me show you what yeah. I see you doing and what I think you should change. So okay. I see you laying this solder like this. Okay. I think you should bring it in like this. So. Bend it to your will, Dawson. I think some people try not to touch the solder, but I touch it all the time and it doesn't seem to matter. My first time soldering. It's pretty bad. <laughs> It's pretty good. You're crazy. It's awesome. That was probably too much. Yeah. But that's okay. It's too much bad sometimes. Yeah, it can be. Only because it can spill over and touch something next to it that you oh, didn't okay. want it to touch. Okay. So look how good you are. And these are done by, uh, I don't know if those are done by a machine actually. These are either, either done by a machine or they're done by some dude in China who's probably been doing it for years and years. And yours look just as good if not better. His are shiny. His are shiny. I wonder if he's using a different kind of solder or something. How do you get shiny? I don't know. I want okay, to Okay, watch out. I don't want to burn shiny. myself. It's <laughs> so shiny. Copyright violation. <sighs> okay, you're going to need just a little more on that. But yeah. Sometimes all you have to do is just refloat it is what it's called. You just you don't even add any more solder. You just melt the solder again. And you melt it for another Wait, couple of seconds. What if they accidentally touch each other? So that would be a short, and that's no good. We don't want that. I feel like, does that need more? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, if it doesn't have I'm more, I'm gonna try doing fine. like the V thing. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, good. Refloat it. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Dawson, not bad for your first day soldering. Good work, dude. Thank you. So, what did you think of this soldering iron? It's nice. Um, I like the, like, I like how it tells you what temperature it is. So, if you burn yourself, the kids at school are like, oh, you burnt yourself on your finger? Do you know what temperature it was? Exactly, 341 degrees Celsius. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah, that's junior high. Okay. Yep. Cool. So this is the only soldering iron you've ever used, but I, I will tell you, having used many, that this one is by far my favorite. This one's just super cool. Nice. Super fun. So, okay. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. <laughs> thanks, buddy. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.